Hello YouTubers, this is Supreme Dragon here, one half of Hidden Dragon, coming at you with an update video slash deck profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Be sure to click those if you haven't already. Uh, be sure you leave a comment with what you think on the deck profile, as well as check out links down below for Facebook, eBay, Big N, Dave and Adams, and Locals Facebook page. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is talk about the update. Um, for the time being, I am stepping out of the meta scene. Uh, it's just not something I'm enjoying right now. So there's going to be less, I guess, deck profiles, things like that going on for right now. Um, I do still be doing openings. Uh, that's not going to change. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I am selling off all my decks, which is why this one, uh, Ignites. Luna Lights, Synchrons, and I don't uh, Dino Miss are still all up on eBay. Be sure to click that link that's in the description down below. Uh, reduce the prices on all of them just to try to move them out. Uh, one of the things I'm still going to be doing is trying to finish up the numbers uh, part as well as the ultimate rares. I know I haven't been doing any ultimate rare update videos. Um, mainly because I haven't gotten a lot. Um, I did get a few in, but I've already put those in the binder. Don't remember exactly which ones were new and which ones weren't. So, um, but I did count. I only have 349 ultimate rares to go. So <laughs> there is that. So, uh, so yeah. I'm like I said, I'm just stepping out of the competitive scene for a while. Uh, focusing on Vanguard and uh, the new game Luck and Logic. So, anyway, without further ado, oh, Morph Ages. Uh, I run one Pride. It's a three scale, 1750. Uh, while it's in the scale, uh, neither player takes effect damage. Uh, one Wrath. Wrath is also another three scale. That's. Uh, says neither player contribute monsters except for morphages so this is a lot of really uh, anti meta ish type stuff so this is like uh, running uh, mask of restrict to shut down cosmos and monarchs uh, I run two envy uh, envy is a five scale and you guys will see I'm running mostly the three and f uh, level four stuff, so that way I can pendulum and keep these things out, tribute them off for the bigger stuff, and then just make big pushes. Uh, these are the ones uh, that doesn't allow you to chain after two. Uh, then we run, or then I run three greed. Greed is the one that says neither player can activate trap cards except for a morphage. Run one gluttony. Uh, gluttony is a other five scale. Uh, Greed's a three. Uh, gluttony says neither player can activate effect monster eff effects except for morphages. Then we got three leckery. Leckery is a level two five scale. Uh, it says neither player can activate spell cards except for morphages. Then we got two sloth. Sloth is your level six three scale. So one tribute that says once this is tributed, neither player can special summon from the extra deck. So that shuts out a lot of things. Uh, and while it's in the scale, neither player can add cards except by drawing them. So that certainly slows things down. Uh, last amorphage, just one Goliath. Goliath is your big guy. He's a five scale. While he's in the pendulum scales, he acts as uh, macrocosmos. So instead of anything going to the grave, it goes bye bye. So that is all the amorphage monsters we run. Uh, I also run the Draco engine. So I run two masters. Uh, once per uh, game, you can pop one card in any player's pendulum scale. And we run. Uh, three uh, the lectors he's the one that negates uh, effects of other pendulums and the one luster dragon which is how we go into ignister 
that's it for those. Uh, rounding out the rest of the guests tech slash staple cards, I run one of the Ritual Guy. Uh, he's really nice. I pulled this off uh, a couple of times. Uh, once the field spell's in the graveyard, you banish the field spell, tribute it up to a level 8, summon this guy, your opponent skips their next main phase 1. So, uh, other level 8, uh, Lad, Light and Darkness. Um, considering cutting it out, but I've found there are times it's just really nice to have a card I can just sit there and say you can't do anything with. Um, one Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Since these are all dragons, I can special this and then continue special summoning with it. Uh, right now I'm only running one Tyrant Dragon. I do want to bump this up to two. I really like it. Uh, there's a combo you can do with this and this in the grave, which I'll show in just a second. And finally, rounding out for the tech choices, I run two of the uh, X Saber Air Bellums. When this deals damage, you can uh, subtract a card from your opponent's hand at random. So that's really nice. So while you're uh, gaining hand advantage, they're losing hand advantage. And also, this does help make uh, Naturia Beast, which uh, will help you with the spell cards from Cosmo and Monarchs. So for the spells of the deck, uh, one of the field spell, which is Persona, which also acts as the uh, ritual summoning ritual card needed for the ritual monster, but also it gives all your uh, Morphages 300 attack and defense, and every time up to twice per turn when a, a Morphage is tributed, you can draw a card. So this uh, acts as a nice little draw engine as well. Uh, we run three of the Amorphage Infection. This gives yours an additional 100 attack and defense for each one of them. So that's three, four, five, six hundred uh, minimum. As well as when you tribute one, this allows you a search. So it just allows you to get through your deck a lot faster. Uh, one upstart because that's all we're allowed to run just like I said for deck thinning uh, three trade-ins since I do run five level eights I believe it is or six uh, this works really well to get things like tyrant dragon into the graveyard uh, lad anything like that just to allow for quick uh, extra draws uh, a tech choice is one advanced zone uh, when you tribute one, you can destroy one set card. You tribute two, you draw one. If you tribute three, you get to add one monster from your graveyard back to your hand. So it's rare you get that third effect, but usually you can get one and two off rather easily. So this kind of also acts like your MST and things like that. Uh, one Draco face off because that's all we're allowed to play. Otherwise, I would be playing multiples. Uh, Grab one Overlord and one uh, Draco Slayer. Your opponent randomly chooses one for you to either uh, put in your Pendulum Zone or Special Summon, and the other goes to your extra deck face up. Uh, one Forge of the True Dracos. I'm definitely going to take that out for another uh, Tyrant Dragon. This almost never comes up to where I have a non Pendulum uh, Dracos or Draco. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> that just really comes up, so I'm, that's definitely going to come out for another Tyrant Dragon. Uh, three Ignite Reload, very nice to have. Just shuffle your pendulums back in, draw an additional card. Just a great way to deck thin and get stuff out of your deck. And the Lone Trap I'm running is Solemn Warning. Uh, this would be a solemn strike if I had another one, but for right now it's going to be a solemn warning. Uh, extra deck. Very rarely will you go into your extra deck, but in case they do play something like skill drain or they do negate your pendulum scales, you can go into stuff like uh, Ignister. So we have one Ignister, one Star Eater, one Ancient Fairy, one Yazi for no targeting, one Clearwing for anti targeting. Uh, one Nacheria Beast to take care of spell cards, and one High Speed Roy Chambara just for that extra push for damage. 
and Xyz running one atom for the two uh, sloths Queen Dragoon uh, Utopia Utopia Ray Utopia Lightning uh, nice having a 5k attacker on your opponent's turn uh, Diamond Dire Wolf to take care of problem cards Magister to search out additional pendulum cards and Cowboy cause you know there's always that time where you wish you could deal that extra 800 for game so as I was saying earlier the about the combo with Tyrant Dragon so Tyrant Dragon's in the graveyard and any Amorphage on the field usually it's gonna be a level 4 so what you do is, and I don't know, we'll call you out there too. So you banish one, special summon, his effect, do this, tribute off your Amorphage, that will trigger one, two, and three. You will get to destroy a set card, you will get to add a search for a card, and you will get to draw a card. All off of one special summoning, or two special summonings. Alright, so that's been my Amorphage deck profile and channel update. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Be sure to click those if you haven't already. Uh, be sure to leave a comment with what you think of the deck profile. Be sure to check out the links for Big N, Dave and Adam's Facebook, locals Facebook, and eBay. Please check out eBay. That link is down in the description below. If you like this deck, that's on eBay. So is Synchrons, Luna Lights, Ignites, and Dino Mist. This is Miss Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon signing out.